up everybody, Durag back at it again with another video on Ground Branch. If I sound a bit off to you, it's because I'm coming off of a high fever, so I'm trying my best to stay indoors. You know, the usual. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be talking about a big update that's going to be coming in for uh, Ground Branch, update 1030. It's an update that was supposed to come in between February and March, but it missed its mark due to complications with the current build. So they've been coming out with mini updates here and there to address the problems that are going on with the current build. Like the update 1029.1 and 2 were basically there to address a lot of the issues that were going on with the game at the time and then they just recently came out with a new one like right before this video called 1029.3 which basically adds in a vaulting system and reduces how high you can jump it's actually a neat little update that could change the flow of gameplay if people can just hop over walls and come up behind you like to give an example when the developers of squad added in vaulting oh my god i would use that so many times just to get behind the enemy and gun them all down oh i love vaulting the only problem with this update is that there isn't actually any animation to it so you're kind of just like hovering upward and onto the thing it's pretty funny but uh yeah that's what 1030 is for 1030 is probably going to be one of the biggest updates that ground branch has had in a long while because with this update it's going to include an overhaul to all animations for those of you that haven't been following the channel the developers of ground branch actually raised enough money to get a new animator from uh the arma 3 community she's actually well known uh 2d2k and she's been showing off a lot of the animations that have actually been going into the game itself and i gotta say they do look pretty good far better than what we have now and i can't wait to see what it looks like in action i think she at one point showed off a proning system so if i have this correct 1030 is also going to feature a proning system i believe which is pretty cool it's another thing that kind of adds a different flow to the game because it allows the player to hide even more behind cover or make it harder for someone to actually hit you so yeah animations and some additional mechanics are going to be the focal point of the 1030 update for the most part i mean that's already going to be a big overhaul to the game but there's also some more information that came along with 10 29.3 it's in a section where they thank us for being so patient while they fix some issues it says here in a uh, token of gratitude everyone's patience and support has been greatly appreciated and as a little thank you gift we've compiled all the awesome upcoming apparel that the very talented pow penelavir sorry for butchering your name has modeled for ground branch right here including a lot of process images for those interested in 3d surface work pow has been working on these new assets for a while and although we've shared some of these pics before there are a few exclusives in the mix and the whole album may be fresh if you're a newcomer we are definitely going to get into these picks in just a second because they do reveal a lot of information but before we get into that let's give a little backstory of who this guy is and where he came in so according to the lead developer they picked up this guy around the time that they got their main animator this is the first time that i've heard about him so i had no idea that this guy actually existed but according to one of the lead developers he said that pow has been modeling stuff for them over the course of four to five months and he apparently ended production of these assets sometime in december of last year so everything that I'm going to show you has apparently already been implemented in the 1030 update about a month ago, at least according to the developers. So yeah, majority of the stuff is cosmetic, but there is a couple of other things that are interesting. So right now I'm just going to play a lot of the cosmetic stuff and uh, yeah, I'll see you after everything has been played.
All right, so I'm just gonna step back in here because the next couple of things are kind of interesting and a little different from the norms. So the first thing that we have is the kneecaps. This would actually be the first time that we actually get to edit our kneecaps and add in knee pads. I mean, adding knee pads to your character would actually be great because, you know, trying to sit on your knees is just kind of like, ouch. So I really like this feature because, you know, it's always great to have more customization options and that's really what they're doing with ground branch here so that's cool nice little mini addition just really hope they have more options than what they're showing off now because i prefer to have a whole lot of options than just what's you know here but uh yeah let's move on so this next cosmetic i'm sure a lot of multiplayer players are going to like and enjoy probably it's called the uh shamog i think it is it's essentially like a, a head wrap is what it is i think it's gonna be great for you know people that actually distinguish each other from you know a terrorist or or you know the good guy i guess attackers and defenders instead of us just doing like you know red versus blue we can actually have someone who's bad versus the good guy you know this is a great indicator to distinguish friend from foe and the cool thing about it is that you can actually wear it on your head or you can actually wrap it around your neck so that's pretty cool all right let's move on all right so the last thing that we're going to be talking about is something called the viper hood and i gotta be honest this is probably like the most unique thing that they actually added because it seems as if they wanted to do like a camouflage thing it looks like they have two versions of it they have one where it just kind of looks more like a raincoat. I think it's really cool looking, in my opinion. And then they have one that looks more like the camouflage that you saw back in uh, Arma, Arma 3. Or was it DayZ? I can't remember. It was a while ago, but that's what it kind of looks like to me. But it's a really cool looking cosmetic that I imagine is going to be very useful for people that are trying to hide somewhere and just shoot people. I think a lot of people are definitely going to like that. So I definitely think this is going to be an interesting addition, and I can't wait to see what people will actually think about it, because I'm not even sure like if it makes sense to actually have this sort of thing on these type of maps. Because a lot of them are, uh, you know, very urban and close quarters, which is pretty funny. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's, it's definitely going to be an interesting addition. But yeah, so that was everything that I thought was interesting when it came to the cosmetics. Let's talk about some other new additions. So for the longest time, a lot of people were complaining about how goofy and wacky the arms can get, either being on backwards or just not looking right well along with this update they show off these brand new arms that not only look amazing but are actually going to look right when they get you know plugged in so it's definitely going to be a welcome change and i can't wait to see it because i'm kind of getting sick and tired of all the brokenness when it comes to like the arms and with the animation update i'd imagine it's going to look pretty good too but only time will tell if that's actually true but let's move on to the next thing here speaking of arms we're going to be talking about something that's going to be attached to said arms and that is the watch i have heard from the longest time that they want to make a compass in the game and attach it to the wrist kind of like that and that's exactly what this is supposed to be i think it's only cosmetic at this point i'm not entirely sure if it's going to be functioning but i could definitely see them doing that in the future it's a cool looking watch though i gotta say can't wait to see it in action just hope that they'll be able to get it to function at some point but yeah that's pretty much that let's move on to the next thing so this next one they showed off a little while ago but they say that they're going to try and implement it into 10 30 this one is definitely not confirmed but this is the female operator character model i was actually talking to the developer and he was actually saying that he wanted to bring in the female character model for 1030 but they're saying that they're not entirely sure if they're going to make it for that update so if it doesn't make it then it'll definitely be in 1031 so i mean that's cool it's always cool to have more customization options so one thing that i miss about you know rainbow six vegas 2 is that you could completely customize your character you know make a male or female and whatever i always love customization options so this is right up my alley definitely can't wait to try it out and they say that um the release date for this could be sometime in April. They say the first week, but I don't know. I'm gonna put this on the subject to change because, you know, it's a tiny team and, you know, bugs tend to come up and it takes them a while to actually fix stuff. So I'll take that one with a grain of salt. One of their community managers basically told me that we could see it in April, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see on that one. Because last time they told me it was supposed to be February, March, but we didn't see it because of, you know, bugs. But I can't wait to try out this update because it'd be nice to actually see cool animation in this game it's definitely going to be a welcome change so uh yeah that is the video if you're someone that likes the fact that i cover games like ground branch and other tactical shooters be sure to leave a like comment and share the video if you're someone that's new be sure to subscribe and ding the bell if you're someone that wants to support the channel then consider checking out my patreon it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye